Hi again everyone. The video I wanted to do today is I wanted to do a video. Um, I'm sure a lot of y'all are interested in getting into reefer units into expediting like straight truck reefer units. Of course Jason and I don't drive a reefer unit but we still want to give you the information on that in case you're interested in doing that. So if you've been watching us for a little while you know we have a few friends that run for FedEx Custom Critical. They do the white glove freight over there and they run a Thermo King reefer unit on the straight truck that they drive. So I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to our great friends Catherine and Marshall um, that run for FedEx. We're really great friends with them. You might have seen the video we did. We hung out. We were able to hang out with them over New Year's in um, Barstow and go do some go-karts and stuff. If you hadn't seen that video, you should check it out. I'll link it down below. Um, but I asked her if she would be so kind as to do kind of just a little brief video on their Thermo King unit to give y'all an idea of how that works and what it looks like. And she, of course, is such a good friend and she did that for us. So she put a couple clips together that I'm going to put in this video to kind of show y'all in case you're wondering how the Thermo King unit works. Now, there are a lot of different um, reefer units on straight trucks. Some of them are on, on the top. I've seen them on the bottom of the box. Um, so there are a few different kinds. The one that they have is on the top of their actual sleeper or box, I should say. Um, and then their reefer unit also, it runs off the same fuel that they put in their main fuel tanks. Now, some reefers do have a separate fuel tank, um, but theirs runs off of of the their main fuel tanks that they fill up with so they don't have a separate tank for that also keep in mind on um, tractor trailer reefers the reefer units are on the trailers and all the controls are on the trailers and she'll talk a little bit about that in her clips but I'm gonna um, show you these clips and I hope you enjoy if you have any questions you can always leave it in the comments and I know that they'll be happy to help answer any questions you may have if you have any on the reefer unit so I hope you enjoy these clips. Hey guys, I'm doing a quick video for Heather. She was wanting me to show you guys the Thermo King unit we have in our trucks. We run for a FedEx Custom Critical and we run for the White Glove T Val department, so we are required to have the Thermo King unit in our trucks. So I'm just going to show a quick video about how to power it on, how to do the settings. It's really easy and simple. So first I'm going to hit my own button and I'm going to wait for that unit to crank up and it takes a moment. And some people may be familiar with this system and they know that it's a diesel engine. It's got to it's got to go through all the systems of of uh, getting started. Okay, this is your um, display screen. And while my engine is starting up, I can show you some quick things. Um, right here is your set point. If you want to change. Okay, let's give it a minute to crank. While we're waiting for that to crank up, I'm just going to do a quick little shot of, this is called the Amerascan, and this is required in our T-Val trucks as well. And what this does is, it does a printout, just like a little receipt paper, of your temperatures. And I'm going to show real quick, you're going to, you can hit the print button, and it'll show you your current values. And it'll just print out like a little receipt. And this is required on like our pharmaceutical loads where when they ask for the temperatures to show that you're in range so but anyhow back to our thermo king unit is um, running back there now i don't know if you can hear it but for your set point really easy you want to just hit set point and you just go up and down with the switch and when you find what you want you hit yes or no you know pretty simple okay and it has to be programmed and as you see it it is reading five degrees celsius and if you want it to read in fahrenheit because some loads are different you go to your menu and you go to um we're looking for mode go there hit select we're going to go next right here here's your change mode um, you want to select this and you want to go up 
for Fahrenheit or stayed back down for Celsius. And once you figure out where you want to be at, you just hit the yes button. And you wait for that to program. Okay, and that's how I've done. Alright, and once we're done with that, we just back out. Exit. We exit again. And you can look at your gauges. That gives you an idea that everything is running good back there. It shows you the coolant temperature. Your coolant level is okay. Your oil pressure is okay. Your oil level is okay. Your AMPS, your amps, I guess that would be. Sorry, I'm not mechanically inclined. Your battery voltage. Your engine RPM. Your discharge pressure your suction pressure and and actually all this stuff is I mean the the engines are pretty smart they know what they're doing back there and if there's any problems it'll throw an alarm and if you want to see an alarm you just hit the menu button and this checks if you have any alarms see right here hit select and you have no alarms so that's always a good thing So you hear this thing running and 41 degrees is my set point which is 5 degrees Celsius. So that's warming up and um, I mean that's that's pretty much it. It'll do a defrost mode. You're, when you're done with, with this and you're ready to turn it off you just simply hit your off button and the system powers off. And that's about it. It's pretty simple. And this is, again, this is an expediting truck. So my Thermal King is on the inside. Now, if you're running a tractor trailer, that unit is going to be powered from outside at the unit itself on the trailer. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks. Hey, guys. Just want to do a quick video of our trailer for Heather. Uh, this is the inside back part. We do have a lift gate that's required for white glove as well. And... I want to show you the little probes. See the little probes on the wall? Those are your temperature gauges. And it reads the temperature for the, each different probe. And that's what I was showing that scanner bar up front. It shows what your temperatures are. That's the reefer unit where it comes in the back. So, and it's pretty simple. I mean, it's just a regular trailer, insulated reefer trailer. So, just want to show that quick video. So I hope that helped if y'all were interested in wondering how the Thermo King reefer units work on the straight truck. If you're interested in getting into a reefer unit, I hope that helped. And again, thank you so much to Catherine, our wonderful friend, to, uh, putting those clips together for us to put in a video for y'all. Again, if you have any questions or comments on the video, please leave them below. If there's something, like I said, we don't know, we can definitely get the answers for you. I know that Cat and Marshall, and um, we have a few other friends over at FedEx that do reefer. They can um, get some answers for you as well. So again, always email us, comment down below, find us on Facebook, any way you want to contact us. We'll be happy to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and y'all have a great day. We'll see you in our next video. Take care. Bye-bye.